A major shakeup is coming to the Las Vegas taxi industry. The largest operator is in the process now of selling its cabs, selling its licenses. 8 News Now reporter Patrick Walker explains why and also takes a look at the state of the cab industry overall. The largest taxi operator in Nevada is selling off its assets. Frias Charitable Trust is selling off the five cab companies that make up Frias Transportation Management. The time's right. Uh, it, it, we have a timeline under uh, certain regulations to divest ourselves from in income producing assets, and no better time than now than to, to take a chance. Co trustee John Mowbray says the trust inherited the cab companies and their 1,100 employees after co founder Phyllis Frias died in 2016. She ran the company for a decade after her husband and co founder Charlie passed away in 2006. Now, as required by law, the trust is in the middle of a five year window to sell off its business assets. There's been a, a, a surprising demand uh, by different operators here in town to acquire some of these assets. Surprising because the cab industry is struggling right now. The main reason ride sharing companies have drastically cut into what was once the taxi industry's stronghold on transportation around the valley. Do we get like an Uber? We took an Uber from the from the airport to the hotel. You know, I'm in the habit of Uber now, so it's just what you do. None of the people we ran across today plan on catching a cab while in town. When you look at the numbers, it's not surprising. Since ride sharing companies began operating legally in mid-2015, ridership has dropped significantly. Mowbray acknowledges that times have been tough. No question it, it uh, stress tests the operations, but we had a pretty good management team that was able to adapt on the run. But in the end, he says, the trust is fulfilling its mission and the wishes of its late founders to continue giving back to the Las Vegas community for years to come. Patrick Walker, 8 News Now. By the way, the trust also plans to sell the 18-acre property where its cab operations are currently located, and that property is not too far from the new Raider Stadium. Trustees tell us it will be sold separately, though, from the cab company.